I'm John from Expert Boxing. Right now I'm going to talk to you guys about how much of boxing is mental and how much is physical. I see a lot of comments online, people say stuff like, oh, boxing is 90% mental and 10% physical. I think it's a lot of crap. Yes, it's true. A lot of boxing is determined like 90% of it mental, right? Because you need your brains to think and strategize and come up with tactics and beat your opponent and then have the, the mental strength and stay confident. They have psychological tricks to make him think something, but then you do something else. Yes. At the end of the day, it's your brain, you're fighting a chess match, it's your brain versus brain. But the work of boxing is 90% physical, actually maybe even 99% physical, right? We don't train boxing by like sitting there in the gym for six hours and meditating most of it. No, we train by sparring, we train by doing technique work, we train by doing mitts, hitting the bags and conditioning and all that. And then after we, because we've done all these physical motions, and we're getting feedback and we're putting that feedback into the brain, then it becomes mental. So yes, we're developing our mental capabilities, but we're doing it by physically moving, physically trying stuff, and then uh, you know, taking mental feedback of all this. But people go around like, oh, how do I you know, try work on my mental game and you know, have a strong psychological uh, attitude to beat my, all my opponents like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, have confidence, that's great, have confidence. But get in the ring, spar, train, different techniques. Different trainers, different styles, different sparring partners. And with all that, you absorb all this. You know how to work in different scenarios and counter punches and different tactics and whatnot. You know how to move in a certain way that will create a reaction or a response in your opponent in a certain way. And then with that, you are beating him with your mental game. But you cannot sit at home like some kind of gimmicky guru and, and you know, mentally train yourself to a championship you actually have to do the physical work. Most of boxing work, most of the boxing development is physical development. And then yes, if your physicality is at that A level, if your, your speed, your strength, your conditioning, your, your movement, your coordination, all the combinations, if all that is at the A level, then okay, fine. What separates all the A level guys might be the, the mental difference. But um, a lot of times, uh, I very rarely see like a guy who's mentally incredible but physically horrible and then he's beating a guy who's physically incredible but mentally horrible i usually don't see that typically the guy who's physically very well trained did all his hard work physically also is a more calm more confident mental because he's done all the work that he doesn't need psychological points he just comes into the fight like okay do it <laughs> you do what you want to do and i have something ready for you there's there's no mental strength tactic that's better than that, than actually having real knowledge and real confidence. Got it? Okay, I'm John from Expert Boxing. If you like this video, you want to see more great boxing tips, please check out my website, expertboxing.com, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.